everybody, welcome to my studio. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning and I wanted to create a little bit more of an in-depth painting so I thought I would record the process. Um, I talk a lot about um, plein air sketching and, and urban sketching and a big reason why I do it is because I get um, inspiration firsthand and I can really kind of capture the light in front of me. But what I find is really missing is some of the finesse that I get in a studio painting. So I love um, kind of taking a lot of hours in the studio and really carefully kind of rendering a scene layer by layer. But when you're working from a photograph, you miss a lot of that light and you miss a lot of that like impression. So this is a sketch that I did uh, plein air um, at Rockwood Gardens in Kitchener. And I love that I kind of captured a bit of the light, but you can see that it's it's quite like, I don't wanna say sloppy, but it's not really perfected. Um, and there's a beauty in that. And I do love the colors and the atmosphere and that kind of fiery sketchiness of it. But I really want to use this as the jump off point to create a more finished painting. So for the majority of this video, you'll probably see a time lapse of me painting. But here's where I started. And I started um, with this plein air sketch. And then here's where I'm going. Um, which is just something with a little bit more finesse. So with things like the architecture um, of that, that gazebo too, I've had a little bit more time to just carefully sketch it up, make sure my proportions are correct. Um, and then I want to draw everything in and show you kind of how I would build up the paintings uh, step by step. And I'm gonna be using these new watercolors for the first time. I've swatched them out and I'm gonna make another video about that as well. Um, but these new um, Roman small uh, watercolors as well, which I haven't had a chance to use. So a beautiful variety there. Um, and I might insert a little bit about that into this video, but uh, at the very least, I'll send a link to the swatching video as well. But let's get started.
hyperlapse that I was filming stopped filming. So I got about seven minutes of me painting and it managed to cover a lot of the process, but I know that there's some gaps that weren't recorded. Um, but I'm just gonna show you now here a little bit closer, kind of how I'm finishing up the painting and how I'm kind of evaluating my painting. And I think, ooh, have I been painting for about maybe an hour almost? Um, I'm loving some of the techniques. I'm loving these colors. Um, they're really creamy, they're really rich to use. They're granulating colors, which are colors that I don't use as often, but um, really I'm kind of loving using them. So I'm noticing a couple of things about this painting. I might try it again. Uh, one of my favorite things to tell students is if you hate a painting, do it again. If you love a painting, do it again. Um, you learn so much every time you do it. And I'm learning from this painting where it's okay, but I noticed that I really scaled down. So if you look at my, um, my original sketch, Oops, that. Um, the gazebo and everything is quite large and I've got this beautiful kind of space for detail. Um, but when I transferred it onto my final piece of paper, my gazebo is quite tiny and I'm finding myself struggling with uh, like the tiny brushes trying to get that detail. Here's the final painting from today's session. I think it's probably about time for me to have some lunch. Um, there's a lot of things I like about it. There's a lot of things that I might have overworked. And what I think I'd like to do is redo it a little bit larger so that I don't have to go crazy with some of these details here. But I'm loving the color palette. I'm loving the granulation and I'm loving the light effects. So this is something that I'd love to explore. A little bit more but thanks so much for joining me in the studio thanks for watching and kind of coming along on my thought process here and hopefully i'll paint it again and maybe give you a peek into that process as well so be sure to hit like and subscribe i want to post a lot more here on my youtube channel uh, but again thanks again and have a super day mm -hmm.